Um, we're embarking on a project with uh, um, partners about um, disclosing the um, medieval manuscripts that we have in our collections. Um, people who've been to Ghent to the IIIF event have noticed the big tower. It's uh, in, on this historic map, it's on the top left-hand side. We built the book tower on the top of the hill overlooking the city's uh, churches and abbeys, and there's uh, a specific reason for that, because we hold most of their collections now. Um, Napoleon did that, not, not we personally. Um, but that's not the only thing. Um, from, the same area, from the same area and from the same um, um, epoch, um, there's some remarkable uh, medieval library um, still existing in Bruges. In the city of Bruges, they, they hold the, um, the abbey, abbeys of the Tondernen and Tordust, and these books are still kept there, but not yet scanned. So from these four medieval uh, monasteries who were very um, important in the book production uh, in that time, they had very important, very productive um, scriptorium and, and big libraries containing um, the bookkeeping, uh, all the economic activity of the, the Abbey, lots of religious material, of course, and also uh, lots of um, texts and documents about just the way of the world and how the, what they knew about the, the, the world. Um, of these very big libraries, we still are aware of, we know where like almost 740 um, manuscripts are, are available. Most of them are in Ghent or in Bruges, but some of them are um, in the strangest places in the world. So we set up a project, um, and you're starting to recognize the scheme. We have been looking very carefully at some of the projects that have been done in IIIF community. Um, amazing projects in, in Ecodices and, and Biblissima, and I'm missing many of them, the Durham uh, Library construction. And we're, um, we set up this project with the religious authorities and, and the two big libraries holding most of these books to digitally reunite these libraries. And for us as a, as a university, the big goal is of course to inspire people to do more research with that material. Um, but for the community, for IIIF, uh, we really want this project to be um, um, an, uh, how do you call that, a catalyst for more uptake and more uh, IIIF usage in, uh, in museums and libraries in, in Belgium. We have a first stage grant now that's running. And the first, first things first, so we're digitizing uh, most of the, the Bruges manuscripts. And we set up in, in Ghent, we set up a service called um, Shed Canvas, like a IIIF hosting service reusing our existing infrastructure to be able to uh, uh, make it more uh, accessible, more easy to use for um, our colleagues. Of course, the first milestone will be have all these manuscripts online and start building some contexts, some explanations, give people an, an idea or a first glimpse of the richness of these uh, uh, libraries. Next, of course, we'll be working more on metadata. Um, but in our project, we really want to express everything in IIIF, not, not start to build um, a big uh, knowledge uh, base like um, Biblitsema is building, but really uh, limit ourselves to expressing things in IIIF and using them in IIIF presentations. And that way, we'll, we'll really build, be advocating more the use of IIIF for research, for education, for all kinds of uh, projects. Um, building up a user community, really. And then, um, back to you. Um, we've been looking over your shoulders, looking at some of the, the projects. You may have some of these uh, manuscripts in your library, actually. So would you be able to uh, scan them and share them via IIIF? Um, that would be um, very useful for us. Um, but it's not only just about the books that have one, at one time physically been in, in one of these abbeys. It's also about, also about the history of these texts and the tradition that is encoded. There might be related text materials, there might be similar illuminations or decorations or book bindings or 
um, ways that these elements relate and make sense. And that's also very interesting. So we're looking actively for, uh, for any kind of um, link that could, um, could work and that we could express as a IIIF collection. Um, and that's the last part. Um, we already saw a few uh, uh, lightning talks about um, discovery tools and discovery mechanisms. So we're really looking forward to um, knowing more how we can use uh, IIIF collections for that. So that's the lightning talk. Thank you.